Welcome to the Swamp, home of the Florida Gators. And we've long been told it is here that only the Gators get out alive. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 22 team in the country, the Kentucky Wildcats, taking on another SEC rival, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Gators will put total leather and will get started. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. So the Kentucky Wildcats offense is on the field for the first time today. And here comes this quarterback when he takes the field. He brings a certain swagger and charisma out there that the entire, not only the entire team, the entire stadium seems to feed off of. You can feel it. It's different. It's special. Uh, guys like this don't come around very often, but he makes the whole team better, but the belief is strong because he continues to make plays and be there for his team every time they need him. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Give to the back. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one, not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this, because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. Running it back, it's Abrams. Found a little running room on that one. Picked up some nice blocks before he's run out of bounds. So Florida's offense will get the ball for the first time. When a guy gets off the ball as quickly as he does, you know he's going to be breathing down your neck, and you've got to get rid of it, Jesse. This quarterback's good, but he better have a clock going off in his head. He knows he's not going to have a lot of time to get rid of the football. That's a big matchup in this game. Well, and that's what I love about this guy, because he affects the quarterback whether he gets to him or not. He knows he's there. He's that kind of good coming off the edge. Let's see how this QB performs under pressure. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Heaves it on the run. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. That's a really good-looking run, I tell you. It's not easy to start at the running back position for the Florida Gators. When you think of where they can recruit in the state of Florida, and really nationally, they've got a lot of the best around the country in high school wanting to come play here. So it says a lot if you're RB1 in this offense, but this dude shows you why. Speed and playmaking ability all day long. Just didn't seem like the quarterback and his intended target were on the same page there. Now on second down. They'll give it to the back. He picks up four. That'll leave them with third and six. Yeah, and, and listen, offensively, you run the RPOs. So just run positive yards. Make the right read. Read the guy. If he wants to drop back a little bit, hand it off. Get some positive yards. Go on to the next play. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Fires to the wideout. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. It's good. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. 
Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense. Takes the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Though. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They opened the lane, and he hit it again. A five out to the 33. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Kentucky will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Bringing it back, it's Abrams. This guy has a daring punt return, man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Looking for a productive play on first down. They'll give it to Johnson. At midfield, he's got room. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. They've come out with answers on this possession, and now another first down. Looking to throw, it's Mertz. Using the quick game. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Well, give the defense credit on that one, because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. Trying the left side. He's just outside the 20-yard line, stopped at the 21 after a pickup of six. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He caught it! They get him stopped at the two, but it'll be first and goal. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all sp And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Florida! Follow the blocker. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time racing requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, sliver through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. It didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. So that scoring drive took only six plays and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The drive starts from their own 25-yard line. Some misdirection with the counter. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Florida on top. They largely dominated this first quarter, as indicated by the stats. Now the 
the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. Here comes the offense on second down. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And he's brought down after a nice game. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. They'll go to the counter. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get him in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. Oh, it goes right through his hands, and he will think about that one for a while. It'll be third down. Just got to finish the play for the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. That defender did not care that the running back was setting up behind him on a screen. He was just thinking one thing and one thing only. See ball, get ball. He did that. Kentucky sent out the punting unit. Running it back, it's Abrams. Ripping through the defense. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shop. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Hit the afterburners, kid. Oh, spin move. And eventually taken down, but what about that spin move? Gives him the first down yardage. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense in their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the defense to the right side for a big play. They just dialed up one big play. Let's see if they've got another one on first and 10 from the 35. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. They, when those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Looking to pass. It's Mertz. Got his man on the right. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. And that's kind of a lot of today's running game, right? Spit the ball out quick, get it to your playmakers in space, get positive yards. It's uh, instead of running the ball a couple yards up the middle, now you just looking for the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Gator. They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing the go rounds right down the field. I'm running by a guy, I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch, and he does it in a big moment here in this game. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the final 34 yards covered by that touchdown pass. He'll bring it out. It's White. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Trailing now by 17, David. This is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like... I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on this is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. To throw, it's Vandergrift. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. 
I know it's early in this game, but man, this defense has had their number. They've done a great job. Already built a huge lead. Now getting this offense in a situation where they got to pass the football and they better protect their quarterback better than they are right now. Kentucky will be forced to punt. He gets a block. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. The Gators sending the offense back to work. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute it. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Quick strike complete. At the 35, he's loose. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before. He makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. Excellent throw by the quarterback. Found the window between the zones and then delivered the ball on time. From the 30-yard line on first down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Badger. And he breaks into the open. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. It is so good for an offense early in the game to get in a rhythm and to start stringing first downs together. It makes the game really easy and puts that defense in a situation where they're starting to get tired. They want to sub. They want to get other guys in the field. Stringing first downs together like this makes it hard to defend. Okay. And the Gators come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Quarterback now breaking the field. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball. But great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it. And the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. The handoff to Johnson. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Florida! And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Air Force is currently ahead in this one, but they may need to rev up an F-16 if they want to turn this into a blowout today. They're up by seven over Colorado State. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. To the air, it's Vandergrift. They cough it up near their own goal line. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Touchdown, Gator! Not content to get the fumble, they scored with the fumble. What a play by the defense there. Loose football, country fumble, pick it up with room, scoop, and score. No doubt, country versus city. When it's a country fumble, nobody around. I got to pick that puppy up and do some damage with it. Nice job seeing the situation, scooping it up, making a play. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, run with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. 
Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense takes the field. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and re- And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple of yards there. Hand off from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout call by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. He's got great speed. <sighs> That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Line gets set, first down. Easy. Use the play fake, now to throw. Buys a little time with his feet. At this point, they're just rubbing their noses in it. There's nothing positive to be able to take away from this. You got beat down, you move on to the next game, start working on the next opponent, this one's over. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. On the run from inside his own five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Less than half a minute to play here in the half. Let's see how aggressive they are on first and ten. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. And down he goes back at the three. You got to be impressed with this defense early in this game, guys. They've got a big lead because they are getting after the quarterback. They've already generated multiple sacks. They thought coming into this game they could take advantage of this offensive line, and that game plan is working to perfection. Fires the pass. Intercepted. Touchdown, Gator. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. Look, a lot of time left. There's a little bit of distance right now being put on the scoreboard. There is, but it's so awesome when you're a defense and you study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for, and then you jump the route and you make the plays and you just go get in that end zone. It is so beautiful. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys. You've been calling a magnificent game there in Gainesville so far. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate turnovers and sacks have told the story so far and you gotta believe the play calling has been the issue right time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics with that said let's send it back to our guys and all those chomping hands there in the swamp kentucky teeing it up and ready to go here in the second half Here he comes from inside his own five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. 
The Gators sending the offense back to work. Looking for a productive play on first down. They'll open the second half on the ground. Forges ahead, picks up about three to the 29. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Reads it, fires complete. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. They're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical, they're too fast, they force a negative play. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. He's got an open man. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Knocked down at the 24-yard line, but it's a big game. 15 yards on the play, and this offense is in business. The Gators are rolling down the field. Here's the handoff. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Looking for a man. It's Mertz. The quick out. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Precision, execution, and timing to pick up the first down on the out route. I think you're spot on. Those out routes, man, it's got to be about timing. you got to throw that football before he breaks. Nice job seeing it. Short yard situation. Throwing the ball on the money so the receiver can get upfield and get the first down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Quarterback floating away from pressure. Touchdown, Florida! And the punishment has been extended. This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. I mean, it's been, been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You, you better change the address, do something different. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive. And they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They'll put this one in play, first snap of the drive from the 25. They'll run it from the gun. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. To the ground with the back. Slams ahead for a yard out to the 33. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. They'll try to run for it. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. Quarterback on the keeper. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. 
And one of the reasons this offense likes the option game with the quarterback is to use his speed and try to attack the perimeter of the field. The defense, though, not having any of it. You saw the contain on the play, forcing him back in the middle of the field, and they're able to corral him for a huge loss. From the gun, running back gets to give. A run up the middle is stopped for no gain. And just a great job by the defense being stout. All right, that's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's 101. Stop the run first. Some belief in that running game as they pick up five to the 35 yard line. About to snap it for the eighth time on this drive, and it's a third down and four. They'll go to the ground. Shakes off the tackle. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. Oh, and he missed it. No good. Hoping to cut into that lead. They did not. The lead is huge. and here comes the offense. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last drive. So in this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. It sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. Back to throw. It's Mertz. Got his man to the left. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. New set of downs after that completion. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Florida on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. They think there's room to run to the right here. And a good solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Yeah, and that's exactly what you want to do. Late in the ball game with the lead, establish the run, establish the physicality. And you know what helps? That clock up there, it continues to tick. So let's see if they choose to keep the ball on the ground and stay conservative and run that clock. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field. You saw that right there. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. How about the mix of play calls on this drive? Three runs, three passes, and now they're in business. And just keeping the defense completely off balance. When you think it's a run, it's a pass. When you think it's a pass, it's a run. Nice job by this offense going right down the field in six plays and now set up for first and goal. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push and just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Touchdown, Gators! And the stomping has commenced. They push out this lead in the fourth quarter, and it might be enough to give them that elusive second win of the season. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Hey, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup.
Tennessee is currently trailing in this one, but it feels like the momentum may be turning. These balls have picked themselves up off the canvas before, and they are capable of it again today. It's a close one right now. They're trailing by one to Alabama. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. It. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And the sack, and this offense has just struggled. They haven't done anything right, and they got a full quarter to go. Like, they got to find something in this next quarter to hang their hat on, something to, to leave with some positive vibes. Second down play from the 12. Here we go. Oh. Looking to throw it Allen. Working that left side now. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking downfield and he needs a bunch. <laughs> Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. How about that alert play from the defense to corral that fumble? Touchdown, Florida! Don't just get the ball, score with the ball, and the defense did. As they push that lead out, a really good opportunity to get back in the win column. The defense striking with a scoop and score touchdown. And defense is about getting guys to the football. Sometimes you just get that hit. The ball pops out, more guys swarm into the football. Great effort, scoop that thing up, now do some damage with it. You always wanted to play offense anyways. Convert that defensive player, offensive player, give me that six. Oh, that's like blowing the layup or the three-inch putt. Missed the extra point. They're just about to kick it off after that scoop and score six. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense, takes the field. Line gets set, first down. He'll start this drive firing. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And how about this defense? They got the donut going. And, and here's one thing I'll tell you about the donut. Late in the game, you're talking about on the field. We want to finish this thing and keep that zero on the scoreboard. No matter who's in the game, who we've rotated, everybody's trying to get a zero up there. They're bringing heat. They're going to get him for a safety. Tried to make something out of nothing and still got stuck for the two. And that's the exclamation point right there. It's been a bad day, man. This offense, they're going to have to find some answers over the next couple weeks, especially the next week of practice, of who they are, what their identity is, because all they've done today is struggle around and now give up points. So after taking the safety, they'll line up for a free kick from their own 20. He'll bring it back. It's Abrams. When you're a return specialist, you're trying to make huge plays. You only get a couple cracks out of the game. You want to make something happen. Unfortunately, he put on the turf. At least his team recovered. But I will say this. The conversation on the sideline, it won't be fun with the special teams coach. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Couldn't find a lane. They pick up a block. by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass gets it out fast really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. 
the Gators come to the line with a new set of downs. Smart move to keep it on the ground. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Ready, ready. Trying to pick up a first down. Ten. It'll be a run on third and short. Still running at the 40. Oh, look out. There he goes. Touchdown, Gator. And the pummeling has started. They can now exhale just a little bit with that lead, and they are close to a victory here in the eighth week of the season. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And what a way to finish things off with that 51-yard touchdown run. He'll bring it out. It's Patterson. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Not a lot to feel great about in this one, Jesse, but I'm sure they'll try to seek out some positives. This might be an opportunity, too, Reese, to go back when they watch this game and just find the plays and the schemes that were working. There weren't a lot, obviously, David, but maybe an opportunity for the coaching staff to condense the playbook. I was going to say, there's not a lot of good to go back to. That'd be a quick film session because there was more negatives than positives. But when you look at this, this week you've got a week to figure it out, figure out what your offense is going to be moving forward. And man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and, and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a... It's another safety. Can you believe this second of the game? And that kind of sums up the day for this offense. I mean, nothing has really gone your way. Now you give up the safety. Tell you what, this team's got a lot of work to do over this next week to get better, to improve. This was a bad day. After giving up that safety, they'll have to boot it away and give it right back to them. On the return, it's Abrams. Return brings it out to the 40. And Florida Gators will take over. The Gators sending the offense back to work. The best way this offense can say thanks for that two spot is by following it up with a score of their own, David. Really fun when your defense does that, when they get you back the football, and they score some points, Palmer. You put those points up on the board, you usually brag about it, especially defensively. We got more points than you, but good opportunity for this offense to get more. Yeah, it's uh, you scratch my back, I scratch yours kind of thing right now. I'll tell you, if this offense is able to go down the field and put up a touchdown, this could be a potentially 9 to 10 point swing based on your defense getting you that safety. You've got great field position now. You've got to take advantage. They'll try the run. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And the defense down in this game, they just can't do anything to stop this offense at this point, David. Right now, they know they're going to be trying to run the football and try and ice the game, but there's nothing at this point it seems they can do. Yeah, and it's frustrating. I got to sell out, man. I got to bring as many guys to the line of scrimmage as I can. I got to find a way to get this ball back to my offense. 
the, the clock is not my friend, and them running the football is only going to run this thing out quicker. i got to find a way to make something happen, strip the football, do something. Looking back on it, this game probably falls precisely into the definition of a trap game. A trap was set, sprung, and the underdogs come up with the win. And that's why we go, you know what? I don't take your rankings. I'm not worried about your rankings. They don't matter to me. We're going to go out and beat this team. We're better than this team. A lot of times those rankings don't mean a lot to a lot of people. And you can tell it didn't mean a lot to this team. And that's why they came out and pulled the upset. Absolutely, David. I mean, that's why you play the games. This team knew they had to come out. They were going to have to put their best foot forward in order to get the W. They did just that. They're talented. They're obviously motivated. I can't wait to see how they follow this up in their next game. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.